In this video, I am going to show you how to make a field report with ArcSnapper. When you create an online ArcSnapper account, there will be automatically some sample data loaded into your account. You can see it here, we have a sample project and linked to the sample project we have some contacts, an owner, some contractors, an engineer, an architect. And um, let's use this sample data to make a first report. One other thing I would like to show you before doing that is that in ArcSnap we work with uh, report categories. So every observation that you make with ArcSnapper is automatically linked to one of those categories. You can manage these categories from here. You can remove the sample categories, create new categories or switch the position of the categories via drag and drop. So now we've done this, let's go ahead and make a first field report. Alright, so first of course I need to download the app from Google Play or from the App Store. And once I've done that, I can log on using the same email and password I used to create an uh, ArcSnapper account online. Now once you've done that, you will see this screen, which will be empty, since the first step is of course to sync all the data from the online account to the app. I press the sync button at the right top and now all the projects and contacts and reports and categories are synced to my um, app. So I see here the sample project that was uh, seeded in my um, trial and I will now press the new report button to create the first report for this project. Every time you want to create an, a report with ArcSnapper, you can choose between a new blank report or to clone the last report. When you clone the last report, you will basically um, continue from your last report and you can uh, delete old observations or edit old observations and start adding new observations. Since this is the first report for my sample project, I will choose the option to create a new blank report. OK, so here we have the screen where we enter all the information that will appear in our report. The first se section is the project status. I can, for example, enter the status of the construction project, for example, roofing. Um, or some of our users uh, use this to um, fill in the weather conditions or some other general information about the project. Linked to this project status, you can add um, some images. And every time you want to insert an image or a picture in ArcSnap, you can choose between uh, inserting a picture from your library, from your camera roll, or to add a sketch on a white background or to take one or multiple pictures at once on site. Okay, for this I will now choose to select a picture from my library. I will for example select this one. And now I can also sketch on this picture. For example like this. Or with a circle and you can choose the thickness and the color of the, of the pen. Save. Okay, next I'm going to indicate who is present on site during my visit. So here we have the list of contacts that I linked to the project. And then finally I'm going to add an observation. So here you see the list of categories. You can manage these categories from your online account. And by pressing the Add button next to the category, you add an observation to a category. Um, I'm going to add an observation to the first category, Concrete. So, first step is to give a name to the observation. I'm going to keep it general and call this Observation 1. You can change the category if you want to. You can also link um, a date to an observation, for example, a due date. You can assign people to an observation to solve this, for example. And you can change the, the status of the observation. This is something that is, that is not okay, so I'm going to switch the status to not okay. There are three statuses, 
OK, not OK, or not applicable. Save. So now the observation is here, linked to this category. And I can add notes, which are descriptions for this observation, and pictures to it. First, I'm going to add a note. For example, yeah, notes. Save. And now I'm going to add a picture to this observation. I'm going to add a sketch. Okay, I'm just going to sketch no something. Okay. I'm going to add another picture from my library. And this one. All right. Okay, so now I've added an observation to this category. I can change it if I want to, I can duplicate it, I can delete it. But it's okay like this, I'm going to keep it as it is right now. And I'm going to press save and exit. Of course, if you want to add multiple observations as possible, just tap the add button next to the category and you can add more observations. I press save and exit at the right top. And now I'm back at the home screen. The sync button at the right top is red now, which means we have some data on our device that's not yet synced to the online account. And when I press this sync button, synchronization will take place. And in fact, now the report is, uh, is created and will be available in the online account. Okay, so this is done. Let's have a look online to see how the report looks. So I'm back here in my online ArchiSnapper account and I will check out the report that I just created. So I'm going to the section Field Reports. This is the report I created, it's here uh, in my list of field reports. And I can basically do three things with this report. I can edit it here from my online account, I can download the PDF report and I can send it out to my contacts. I will first briefly show how to edit the report from my online account. So I press the edit button. So this is the edit version of this report. Um, this is something a lot of our users do if they don't have a lot of time to finish off the report um, uh, on site or if they just want to have a, a look at the report when they're back at the office before sending it out to their contacts. So you can change anything from here. You can, for example, change the status, add other pictures. You can change the people present. You can edit the observation names or dates or statuses. You can edit the observation descriptions, the notes. You can upload um, new pictures or you can add comments to pictures. Um, you can also add other observations from here. So basically you can change anything that you want to change to this report before sending it out to the contacts. I'm going to have a quick look how the PDF version of this report looks like. So yeah, of course it's important to know that you can manage um, the layout settings from your online ArchiSnapper account. So you can upload your company logo, your company um, information, your um, you can manage your report titles, you can use one of our um, layout templates, you can choose the font type, the font color. So a lot of settings to choose from uh, when you are um, managing your report layout. So this is my report. I'm having a quick look if it all looks fine. And if that's the case, the last step is to send out the report to the contacts of this project. I can select them all or a subset. Then I can manage my uh, email subject and body. Also here I have a text that I can predefine from my report layout settings. And I can choose some variables um, that I can use so I don't have to fill in the report number or the report date or the project name. So this is all done for me and I don't have to spend time writing out or copying um, 
the project date or the report number, project name, etc. I can also add um, other attachments to the mail. And then the last step is to press the send report button. And then I will see um, here in my send history that this report has been sent to this people on this date. I can check it out. This is how they have received the report. The send column is filled in. And that's it.